today we'll be making some science experiments. Yes, for the first experiment, we have three solutions here. Cool! This one is acidic solution made from citric acid. This one here is our indicator solution made from red cabbage powder. This shows us whether the liquid is acidic or basic. This one is our basic or alkaline solution made from baking soda. Do you guys know what happens when we add the acidic solution into indicator solution? Let's find out, Dad! Yes, let's find out. Are you ready, Johnny? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Wow, it's turning red, Johnny! <gasps> oh my god, that's so cool! I know, wow, it's turning more brighter. Keep on adding more, keep on adding more. Okay. Wow, it's turning all bright red. Nice! And the water's going up too. So that means this is acid, right? When you add acidic solution into the uh, indicator, it turns red. Yeah. Okay, guys, it worked very good, right, Johnny? Yeah. So now let's test with the basic. Okay. Okay. Put the basic into the indicator. Let's My... see what happens. Okay. What do you think happens? I think it's gonna turn into a color. What color? Blue, that's my hypothesis, guys. Let's see. Wait. Actually, you're right, it's kind of turning blue. Yeah. Let's add more to see if it actually turns more blue. Wow, it is blue. Oh my god, my hypothesis was correct. I know. Check this out, guys. Whoa. Jonah was right. So, this is acidic. Liquid. When we add acidic liquid into the indicator, it turns red. So that's how we know that that was acidic, right? Yes. When it turns blue, that's how, that's how we know that was basic, right? Yeah. Yes. Hmm, Johnny, we saw what happened with the acid and alkaline, right? But can you explain what is acid and what is alkaline? Yes. If there are more positively charged hydrogens, that is called acid. However, if there are more negatively charged hydrogens, that is called basic or alkaline. Here is the scale for acid and base. Numbers from 0 to 14. Number 7 is neutral. That is water. As we go from 6 to 0, it becomes more acidic. Like milk has the least acid and the battery is the most acidic. On the other side, as we go up the numbers, it becomes more basic, more alkaline. For example, blood is the least basic and the drain cleaner is the most. That. Yes, Johnny? Let's do some more color changing experiments. Good idea, Johnny. Let's do our solutions first. Okay. So, to make the indicator, we need red cabbage powder. So, we need to get one small scoop of red cabbage powder. Yes. So, here is one small scoop of this, right, Johnny? Mm hmm. Here. Now, put it in. And what do we do now? Put water. And mix it, right? Mm -hmm. So, guys, our indicator solution is ready. Let's do it like this. Purple. Perfect. We're gonna put this out. And what's our next? We're gonna make acidic solution, right, Johnny? Yeah. For that, we need citric acid uh, powder. powder. And, and we need a medium scoop. Of it. Yes, one medium scoop we need from the side, Johnny. Yes. Yes, one medium scoop. Yes. It kind of looks like oh. sugar. That wasn't good. And then, when we need uh, to make this uh, basic, we need one more medium scoop of baking soda. Baking soda. Guys, this is a baking soda. Now, we put the water. The ones on the side doesn't have any color. And what we do here is, Johnny, you have to mix this until it dissolves, okay? Uh-huh. Alright, it's dissolved. Now, we do the same thing on the other one. This is gonna be our base, right? Alkaline. Yep. Made from? Baking soda. soda. Okay, now this is the solid too, Johnny. Hey, Dad. Yes, Johnny. Let's play a game. What game, is Johnny? A guessing game. 
Yes, you can. Okay. How? So you're gonna have to take these two solutions and okay. mix them up. I'm gonna have to close my eyes. Don't do it yet. Uh -huh. So when I close my eyes and then when I open them, I have to find out which one is basic or acidic. That's right. He's right, guys. Look, both of them are exactly the same. Both of them are so clear. We cannot tell which one is basic or which one is acidic, right? Yeah. So only way to find out is when we add the indicator solution into them, so acidic turns red and the basic turns blue. Yes. So we know, right? Okay. Okay, then you ready? Close your eyes. Okay. Guys, I really don't know which one is which now anymore. So Johnny, you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay! You guess, which one is acidic? Okay, my guess is that this is acidic uh -huh. and this is basic. So this is basic. Uh -huh. Okay, take the tube and put some uh, indicator solution in there. Okay. You said this is basic. This was actually acidic, guys. Look, it is turning red. No! I was wrong, guys! You were wrong. Guys, did you see this? When you add the indicator solution into acidic solution, it turns red like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now time for basic. So, add the uh, indicator solution into the basic. Let's see what it turns. Uh huh, it is turning blue. Hold on, I need to keep adding more because it doesn't look that blue yet. Yep, keep adding more. Wow. Wait, what? How about we do this way, Johnny? <gasps> You're doing it the wrong way! Oh no, oh no, no, no. Okay, um, I don't even know what color that is anymore. Yeah, it's like green. Well, anyways, green is close to blue. I would say this is basic. And we know that when you add the indicator solution into Acidic solution it turns red. This turned red, but this turned green actually. Guys, what happens if we mix them together? Let's 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 see. Wait, it turned purple again. Oh my god, it's getting fuzzy. You remember? You see that? <gasps> oh my god, that's so cool. How about if we do this? Both of them at the same time. Oh god. Wait, it turned more purple. It's getting fuzzy too, guys. Can you see? It's time for the next experiment. Yes, guys. It's time for the next experiment. But before we do that, Johnny, I want to tell them that we got, we are doing all these experiments based on this kit. We got this uh, on Amazon, and the link is gonna be down in the description below. If you guys want to get that, go ahead and check it out. And Johnny, what's the next experiment? Waterproofing our fingers! Yes, we're gonna waterproof our fingers. How do we do that? So first, we're gonna get some water into the cup. Yes, guys, here you go. Here's our water. Then next, we're gonna have this aerogel. What we're gonna do is... Open the cup. And Johnny, what are you gonna do? Cover our finger yes. with aerogel. We're gonna cover our finger with aerogel. Now it's time to test. This finger is now waterproof, right Johnny? Yes. Let's check. Wait. Wow, his finger is all dry, guys. Check wait. this out. Wait, what? I thought I felt some water, but... There is it... no water. Wait. Check it again. Again, it's so dry. Let's try how many times we Two. can do this until it gets wet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. No, eight times. It's still dry. Let me try it, Johnny. That is really cool, huh? Yeah. I want to make sure airway is nicely cut it. Cut it. Okay, can I keep dipping? Yes, keep on it. Johnny dipped his finger 20 times. Still not wet. 22. Wow. 23. This is amazing. 24. Whoa! That was so cool! My finger was waterproof! Mine too! It was waterproof! Water wouldn't go on my fingers. That Johnny, that's all because of the aerogel. 
you nice. want to you want to see what else can we can do with this air gel? Yeah. Okay, guys. Next experiment. What we're gonna do is this. We'll get some water inside here. Yes. Now check this out. We get some uh, oil inside here, right? Let's yeah. Say, um, I would say I want to get like a what? Ten milliliters. Right, Johnny? Check this out. Dad! What did you just do? You just wasted good water! Yes, Johnny, check this out. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, Johnny. I got it. I can clean this up. But before that, check this out. Guys, oil and water. They didn't mix, right? How? I don't know. Johnny, you tell me. Why? Hmm. So, the water molecules are hydro... No. So guys, water and oil doesn't mix. Why? Because water molecules are polar, which means it's um, positively and negatively charged. They attract to each other and they bond together. On the other hand, oil molecules are non-polar. They don't bond with water. So that's why Water molecules are more heavier than oil, it goes down and oil goes up. So now we're going to clean up the water, uh, clean up the oil from the water. How do we do that? Mm, I think we need to get one of these cubes. Yes, we are going to get this cube. Uh, this is a foam. If we put it right now inside the water, it soaks up all the water, right? Yes. And that's not good. It's uh, if it sucks up the water, but that means that it's hydrophilic, which means it loves water. We didn't. We need to make it hydrophobic, which is scared of water. Yes, we have to make this. We have to turn this into hydrophobic, which is afraid of water, right? How do we do that? We need to use the aerogel. Yes, aerogel is the answer for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this up with aerogel. All edges. Okay, I think it's now ready. Before we uh, proceed next, one, I'm gonna put on my gloves. Okay, guys. So this is coated with aerogel now. Now it has to be hydro. The phobic. Hydrophobic, which is afraid of water. Now we're gonna put it inside the water. It should not attract the water. Should not take the suck the water out. It should not. Uh, get the water but it should get the oil out right okay. let's see wait you see <gasps> the oil is coming it's on the oil now what we're gonna do is get this and squeeze the oil out whoa it looks so gooey for some reason so yeah you guys it's still not 100% clean if you keep doing it it's gonna clean 100% so here is our oil. We took it back out. Most of it. Now we know about hydrophobic and hydrophilic things, right? Yes. Hydrophobic, afraid of water. Hydrophilic, loves water. Yeah. So I have one more thing here. It's called hydrophobic sand. Hmm? So that this sand is afraid of water. Suppose it should not mix with the water. We're gonna put some water. Let's test it, right, guys? All right. Step one, put a little bit of water or right. some water. Number two, get the sand out, hydrophobic sand out. It is a hydrophobic sand. Okay. So, when I put it inside and it comes out, it should be dry. Let's see. Huh? Wait, I see some white stuff. That, that could be... Oh, you see this? It's... You see this? It's still... Good, Some good. water came on a board that doesn't count. How? Look. How? It is sand. No way. This How about if I do this? This isn't real, Dad. Wait. How about if I do this? Look. Not everything. Don't worry. Let me touch it. It's perfectly still. I love this. Dude, look, you 
can make some uh, shapes under the water. Nice! Can I put more? No! Okay! <laughs> well. You put everything inside here. Wow, guys, check this out. There is some shape under the water. This hole! Ah! Uh? This is cool. What do you think, Johnny? Nice! Now, check this out, Johnny. I'm going to pour the water out. And the sand must be dry. Wait, don't worry, I got the sand. Got it? Okay, so there's some, still some water left right inside here. It's not perfect. This is still a sand. You see it? Let me see. Let me check. check this out. This is see, really I cool. Science. This is still dry. Nothing happened. But there is some water, but we're gonna take the water out of there. To take this water out, that's what we're gonna do, Johnny. Gonna put the paper towel like this. Oh no, it's gonna make a mess. Now we're gonna put this right here. You know what's happening? What? So, whatever water was there, it went down and paper towel sucked in, right? Yes. And all the sand is dry now. <gasps> All the sand does not have any water anymore. It's perfectly fine. Right? So now we're gonna put this back inside here. Hey Dad, there's some sand. We're gonna clean up later. See you guys? Cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. We got our hydrophobic sand back in the in the jar. Well, not all of them. Some spill here and some still inside here. But most of them. Yeah. And it's all dry. I'm gonna go and close the cup. So guys, that was our five experiments for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it, right? Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye. Bye. Please let us know what kind of uh, experiments you guys want us to do.